Hello viewers and welcome to Africa and Beyond Television Network. And my name is Ronald Wekumakusha. Zimbabwe President Emerson Dambudzi Mnangagwa is moving across Zimbabwe, recognizing several battlefields. And uh, I believe that he is actually raising some monuments or so in various areas and various places. So he was in Matabeland, I believe that is quite what is called Pupu. And uh, he was in Gutu also, where he dealt with another uh, issue there. This one is a recent one where he visited uh, Gutu. And when he was there, uh, the, 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 the place is called the Kamungoma Liberation War Shrine. And uh, he is walking or moving across Zimbabwe, uh, citing these shrines all over. And um, actually uh, presenting them to the people of Zimbabwe. We need to hear what he had to say, what he had to explain when he was at Kamungoma Shrine. So I believe that at a certain point in time, we need to liberate, uh, sorry, to, to document our liberation history. It's good that he's doing so if he is genuinely doing so and not uh, grandstanding. But let us hear what he had to say so let me place this right here the armed struggle the war of liberation was not a walk in the park many of our brothers and sisters perished for us to enjoy the freedom we are enjoying today today we are witnessing one of the many sites countrywide where our people sacrificed their lives for the benefit of generations to come. And we today are enjoying that freedom. And our brothers and sisters perished because they wanted us to be independent. So it is necessary that we have movements like this so that the younger generation will remember that freedom came after sacrifice by their parents. So, in my own view, I believe that uh, this will be the necessary foundation for the people of Zimbabwe to start documenting their own liberation history. So, this is not a political issue. It's a national uh, issue, which every citizen who is responsible uh, need to do. A lot of people who participated in the liberation struggle, they have died already. Uh, the majority of key individuals have died already. People who know some very key battles which really happened. Vayenda. Kwa sara ma fake or veterans aya. No wasara wa kungo wa kungo zi juinira because they had some information from their parents, from their relatives. Kuti kwa kamburu wa ondu pakati. Kuna ya kamburu wa pakati. Those are the remaining people, the majority of them. So if you find somebody who is going to be truthful to tell, kuti wonder is that we were saying. It will be something else. But when the president is moving around like that, you start to see some documentation happening in that those areas. And you have a reflection of what really happened and what really transpired during the liberation struggle. And also for some people who have been trying to find closure for the families who, were, who went missing after the liberation struggle, it will be... Uh, a something better because you know amaedu ya kambo ni kwa kwa kati amaedu ya kafira kwa kati we didn't have that uh, moment of closure after the liberation struggle after 1980 independence something which is problematic so this is what is happening in Zimbabwe President Emerson Nangagwa was in Gutu where he dealt with the issue or where he commissioned the Kamungoma liberation war shine and we are going to watch and see if they will continue in such a trajectory. Our history must be written correctly, not uh, based on party lines or party affiliations. We often believe that we are going to have the truth and nothing but the truth.